What is going on, everybody? Aina Trong here, back with another video. We are reacting to the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, like the video. We're under the 600 subscribers. Jared Allen started the game off for the Cavaliers. He still should still be a net, but somehow when we made the James Harden trade years ago, for whatever reason, they wanted to include him. I will still hold that grudge to this day. Jared Allen Mitchell inside, good lamp. I am a Nets fan, if y'all didn't know, so I do root for the Nets. We are not the greatest team right now, but... We've been passable as of now, so we could win this game. We might get blown out. We might blow them out. You know, it's really hit or miss day by day. Camp Johnson, good look. You know, I just want to see a competitive basketball game today. As long as we get that, good sign. Brooklyn Bridges fade away over Evan Mobley. Come on, son. That was a good look. Spencer Dumas getting double Claxton. And why not? Let's go. Claxton telling a very similar to progression that. Jared Allen did on the Nets um, earlier in the years. He had flashes, but he wasn't anything crazy. And now, Clax really stepped up the same way Jared Allen did. So, I'm very happy about that. Hopefully, he can get the All Star level like Jared Allen is at. Um, if it wasn't for the injuries, he probably could have been an All Star this year, but he was out for a good while. So that really, you know, could lead the whole case. On top of having a Donovan Mitchell teammate at one, you're not going to see him have the inflated uh, points just because he made up for him last year. Inside Reggie Perry, I don't really like him to be honest with you. I don't know why we play him. We have Nerlens Noel, but whatever. Spence or Dinwiddie, let's go. Karis LeVert, former net, you know, very happy way did for our team. Unfortunately, he's not here anymore. So, Spencer Dinwiddie, Joe Buckets, corner three. That's money. Let's go, Joe Harris. I hope the Nets don't get rid of him. I really don't. He's one of my favorite Nets. Cal Bridges. His jumper low-key kind of ugly sometimes. Especially on the fadeaways, but it works really good. So I can't even hate. Um, Bridges low-key becoming one of my favorite players now. Which is shocking because about a month and a half ago, I hated this man. So. I'm not a big... I really don't like the Suns. So he felt a lot of that because usually... They just wouldn't have guard anyone who was above the height of six foot four, but on the Nets he's finally not that bad. So, I think it was the coaching staff and the fucking team just holding him back, which is unfortunate. But whatever. Chetty Osman to Jared Allen inside hook shot. That was really good, actually. Damn. Oh shit! He almost had it to Jared Allen, but we're on numbers. Cam Johnson. All right, Perry. I don't really like him, but whatever. Hopefully he just plays solid enough. Don't want to see him do anything stupid. Cam Johnson, three-pointer. Let's go. Six-point game. We are in this, man. This is not a blowout. We are not going to let that happen. Hopefully. I don't know. Yeah, we... Uh, they, running two bigs they have is insane. We don't have anyone else who can really help. The Cal Bridges fade away. Finney Smith, maybe, but at the same time, he's not really stopping anyone. Not, like, uh, Mobley, at least. Well, we definitely got the size on him, I think. But it's close, so. He can play good enough defense. Claxton's going to have to guard Jarrett or Mobley, depending on who's cooking that night. Darius Garland. Low-key, I'm not going to say he's underrated, but he's under, uh, how do I say this? With Donald Mitchell on the team, people really don't talk about Garland enough. So, when you're playing them, you're going to be focusing on Mobley and Mitchell. And then you see Darius Garland. Bro is insane. You could genuinely drop 35 a night if you want to. And one. He is a great player. Daddy Rich 24. I don't know who that is, but. Cal Bridges. Fade away. It's 13 point lead for the Cavs. Hopefully, we're in this, but we leave Donovan Mitchell wide open. I don't know what kind of zone we're playing, but the Cavaliers are not a team. I don't want to leave their their wings or guards open for three. All right. This is not looking too hot right now. I'm not going to lie. They definitely. Uh, they want this one. They have one. The fro. Donovan Mitchell taking out the ball. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Wow. That was insane. Spencer, ISO. Oh, between. Inside. Layoff off the glass. Come on now. You know what time it is. Dinwiddie. Finney. You know what? If we're not going to win, at least get some good possessions here. Joe Harris, open three. Nothing but net. Don't disrespect it. K. 
Karis LeVert, three-pointer in the corner. This is home away from, oh, man. Karis LeVert, the great years in Brooklyn. Really elevated this play. And one, I was about to say, there's no way. That's not a foul. Get the steal. Nets on a run. Royce O'Neal. I thought it was contact, but all right. Karis, step back. Three-pointer. Oh, that's money. Damn. Here we go. Joe Harris inside. Claxton. Give him a spin. 16 point. All right. We're not really going to come back here, but maybe something. Donovan Mitchell inside. Oh. Damn. We even got a re go. That was bad. You got the teammates looking on the replay, bro. Yeah, that was nice. And Mitchell gets a three-pointer. I genuinely think, it, unless someone wants to say anything different, I think he's the first uh, team All-NBA level player. I really think he should be. Um, I think one of the spots goes to uh, Luka, maybe, or Dame. Ray pointer from Chetty. Uh, and look, we know Luka's a better player than Donovan Mitchell, but I think, you know, it, Mitchell's impact this season, absolutely insane. He had that 71-point performance in double over. Time maybe just one over time won the game. Ricky Rubio inside. You know it was crazy last year. He was really good for this team. I never had a really good game against the Knicks. Then he got hurt right after. They were on a run, got traded away, and now he re-signed with Cleveland, and now he's healthy and uh, definitely a great veteran for this team. Oh, Royce O'Neal on the run. Cam Johnson corner three. Let's get it. Let's get it. We in this game, eleven point game. We're not really in it, but you know we could say that. All right, Perry. Seven-point game. Ten-point game. Let's make something happen. Give us a little bit of hope. We're not going to win. I don't think Cleveland's that stupid. Eight-point game. Perry. Just shoot it at that point. All right. Six-point game. Crazy things have happened. Damn. It's done. Good game. We almost made something magical happen there at the end, but Cleveland beat us 115-109. Leading scorer for the Cavs was no one besides Donovan Mitchell, 31 points. Garland had 17, 6 assists. He shot really good, though. Uh, Jared Allen at 12 and 14. Mobley had 17. Uh, Karis LeVert at 18. Teddy had 12 off the bench. For the Nets, our leading scorer was De'Ron Sharp. I don't know why I said Reggie Perry. We had another guy, another big, who looks very similar. My bad. I'm a Nets fan. I'm not an idiot. I swear. De'Ron Sharp had 20 and 11. Good game from him, I guess. Royce had 12. Stinwoody had 19 and 11. Bridges had 18, 13 for Clax, and 16 for Cam Johnson. So that's all I got for you all day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.